everyone, my name is Ibn and welcome to, well, Hallett Park Zoo, which is my new solo project. Amazing introduction. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can hear, and I thought you were going to do this and that makes it so much easier for me. <laughs> as you can hear, I am not alone. Um, you all know me. You know that I don't like recording on my own. Um, so I'm joined today by just Goron, who is going to look uh, at what I've built so far in um, mm -hmm. my solo project. Very excited. I've seen snippets, but it'll be cool <laughs> to see how it all comes together. Um, so, one of the things that I had to do was accept that I am not going to be capable of finishing things up every two weeks. Um, that's just not going to work, especially when you're in a solo project like this. So I decided, F it, I'm just going to show whatever I have. I'm going to stop postponing it because I'm constantly <laughs> building new things and not finishing other stuff, um, so... I mean, that's the exciting part, you know, see how it evolves, see, uh, see your <laughs> exactly. fault a little bit throughout the week. Exactly, exactly. Um, so yeah, uh, first of all, Hallett Park Zoo is a zoo in Philadelphia in uh, the US, and it's uh, named after George Hallett, who's a real person and has several parks named after him. He was an activist and a avid bird fan, so I thought that was pretty cool to use as a name because I mm -hmm. I had like the name Owen Richards Sue for like the longest time because it's a nice dinosaur reference. But yeah, no, I wasn't happy with it. <laughs> um, so first of all, the plaza we're currently walking on, um, I completely ripped from Zuton Tower. <laughs> so I thanks... was going to wait for you to mention it. <laughs> so thanks, uh, Moblung, uh, for uh, making this. I, I really appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, the but... building's yours, right? Yeah, yeah, the building is mine. But everything that you can see here is um, Moblung's base. I changed a lot already because... That was made ages ago. Mm -hmm. We've got so say, many more, looks more pieces. Really cool, cool for being so old, but I guess <laughs> you, you, you did adapt it a bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Um, and one of the things that I really like is a clock tower, uh, and especially the bells yeah. with all the ropes working as they are supposed to. So if you would oh. pull that down, that would start ringing, which is <laughs> <laughs> which is the kind of detail I like to work on. Um, so yeah, um, I've started working on the entrance and this area is almost finished um, and I wanted to have like this small, um, yeah, the typical, if you want to do mm -hmm. an, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm losing the I'm word. <laughs> what was, oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, boy. Membership? Is that Membership, the thank you, wow. It's been so long since I've done a solo project, I completely forgot what, all, what everything was. Uh, yeah, a little guest relations membership um, spot, which I really like. I still need to do tons of stuff. Um, but one of the cool things about Hella Park Zoo is that there's a lot of terrain elevations, but in the middle of the zoo, we have another tower because... <laughs> because... He even, even has to put a tower in his zoos because... <laughs> This is, this is only the first time I've actually put a tower in my zoo myself. <laughs> uh, all the other towers were made by different people. Um, <laughs> so this is the main plaza. Um, I think I'm going to add something in here. I don't know what yet. I've been thinking about like a fountain, but that didn't look right. So I might do something different, like a sculptures or something. A um, garden. A garden, uh, but that would involve Mike, and I don't want to involve Mike. <laughs> <laughs> this is my project, damn it. <laughs> it is my project now, and I'm not sharing it with anyone. <laughs> um, so, uh, if you saw the intro and you didn't see the intro, uh, go on. Nope. You saw that there were four versions of the logo that I'm using, and each uh, logo has a different color. Um, and that's because I want to uh, divide the zoo into four areas. They're not going to be real areas, but just exhibits will be defined by that uh, color. Um, so there's going to be an African area, there's going to be an Asian area, it's going to be a North American area, and then um, kind of inspired by Burger Zoo, it's basically everything that's left. And in Burger Zoo, we call it 
the old zoo. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's that's something that I want to do as well. Um, as I said, not a lot of this, not a lot of this finished yet. Um, so this probably isn't going to be the longest episode. But we're going to take a look at the a few things in the Darwin house, but mostly what I've got planned for uh, the area in the back. Exciting. Uh, yes. Uh, so the Darwin house is one of those old zoo, not separated from the rest of the of the areas, um, but mm -hmm. it's supposed to be an indoor. Um, rainforest kind of thing and uh, the reason why I wanted you on today was because this is inspired by one of the zoos that you like so much oh. Three, oh, I, damn it. <laughs> I have an idea which one <laughs> we'll see. this is like the second time it happened I'm gonna do it like this <laughs> <laughs> you're not you're not nice doors Ooh, I see Yes, this is inspired by, and I want to say Blaydork, but I'm not sure. Yes, this is Blaydork. Yes, um, so it's a Darwin house, so it's all about so South America. Um, and this is uh, inspired by his cab cabin in the ship he went on. And I the HMS Beagle. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> and this is, a, this is completely inspired by a recreation in real life. They had kind of the same items. Um, I really like mm. the scrolls and the little box with his stuff and his hat. That's cool. I love how you books. used the tropical pack, like round thingies. Oh yeah, thank you, thank they you. They look really nice in here. I'm I'm a big fan of these books made out of the. Mm. Um, oh, the hinges. No, or the no, locks. The locks. The, yeah. the lock piece, exactly from yeah. the Twilight pack, which I really, That's super really cool. enjoy. Hopefully, I can. Yeah, if I just look down. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is going to be the rainforest house. Ooh. With nice. the forest animals. Awesome. So yeah. we got the Galapagos tortoise. Of course, they cannot miss in the Darwin section. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and one thing I'm really, really proud of is how the... Um, the water uh, element blends in with the rest oh, of the oh yeah that's pretty cool of the gutter um, if you, if you, I noticed it and I showed it to a few people uh, that do nothing with zoos so like my brothers um, <laughs> and they never spotted they never thought that they thought that just this was just one piece mm. and they never realized that this was a combination of um, of pieces in game which I really really enjoyed. Um, yeah, and I also love how the vines entangle it and stuff. It thank makes you. Makes it blend in so well. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it adds the story of why this was pulled uh, out from the building. Um, mm. And yeah, here we have a, a close view of the tortoises. Unfortunately, um, I want to do a sloth um, and I want to do the <laughs> koala base one. Mm. Um, but there's currently an issue uh, with. Uh, the climbing, which Frontier was, has already been alerted, and they are already, they are already looking into it, um, so that they so that they would be able to climb all over this place. Of course, Sloth is based on the koala, and the koala had the same issue. Um, yeah. But yeah, so this is the reason why I really haven't worked that much on this area anymore, um, because I was kind of bummed out. But I'm glad that they already looked into it, and um, hopefully it comes with the next update. Um, but yeah, I this is what I have so far. Yeah, and I'm so far pretty, so good. Yeah, pretty happy with it. Okay, so let's go back outside and hopefully not get stuck on the roof. Ooh, look at that. <gasps> look at you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we're going to take a look at the second thing that I've made so far. Mm -hmm. um, and this is the beginning of that. Awesome. So we've got a little food area. Yes, yeah, so we have a little coffee stand. Um, throwing in the trash in my custom-made trash cans. <laughs> Pretty nice. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, this is a very simple thing, just a coffee area, a coffee place. Still not finished, um, but I'm happy with where it's going right now. Um, and as Zoom. always... Sneakily going past some things. That... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to do things with in the next episode. Um, 
usually <laughs> my goal was like, hey, if you're sitting here, you can see so much of the exhibit behind there, but um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty yeah. impossible because everyone is standing <laughs> over there. <laughs> Too many people. Yes, I exactly. guess this is the only viewing point for this exhibit at the moment. At so, the moment it is indeed, indeed. Yeah. Um, and this is going to be um, one of the coolest things in the zoo, and I'm going to use this gazebo kind of thing, thing. <laughs> that was based on a zoo, and I think it was in Miami, uh, to look at it. And Oh, wow. Here we go. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Yeah, this is <laughs> this is a thing. Um, <laughs> I went to the Big Sabarin with you. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I wanted to go with someone else, but they they couldn't go. So <laughs> no, um, we went to the Big Sabarin, and um, the one thing that the Big Sabarin has is these huge areas where you can just see multiple exhibits layered on top of each other, which are just absolutely beautiful um and that's the thing that i want to recreate here um i've got the first savannah exhibit over here i've got a secondary one with the elephants and the um zebra and the scimitar horned okay. oryx yes are behind it and are lowered as well and to be honest okay. You can't really tell that. Yeah, well. I was wondering if they were with the elephant, but they're not. No, no, you can you can actually see that here you have an elephant uh, and he's walking. Now here, here you can see it. There's like half of an oryx, mm. and that's because yeah, it goes. It's just lying on the ground, but that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's no, no. It's not lying down. It's it's standing yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I see so, now. Yeah, yeah. So that we would be able to see it better if you were to zoom in, but you know. <laughs> I'm already I'm already zoomed in as much oh, okay. as I can. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can see it. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah, and that's that's the goal um, for this area. I'm gonna hopefully no, they're not gonna do the thing that I wanted them to do. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's that's what I want to uh, recreate. I'm gonna go out of the touch it cam for a minute, which is now camera mode, um, to get a better view of the zoo so far. And there we All go. Right. That's cool. So yeah. Um, not much has been finished, but I, I just, I had to do it. I had to get out of my <laughs> comfort zone. I had to just stop trying to make show things it. perfect and just, just show it. Um, because yeah, this is, this, this is obviously the huts in the back are obviously not finished or obviously not, not the ones that I want to uh, have in the, in the <laughs> end game. Um, but yeah, the goal is that we have a savannah experience over here and oh they're going to do the thing oh right i forgot about this <laughs> you showed this to me already it's really cool yeah yeah, yeah they're eating the side of the thing <laughs> you know it is actually way too lush for yeah uh, for that like that it wouldn't be this lush, basically. Yeah, I need I need to trim it down a bit for it to really look. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's wild yeah, bands where just the sides of the the giraffe enclosure are just completely stripped clean. <laughs> I'll I'll have to change that then because yeah, you're you're completely right. Um, but the goal is for this to be the savanna area, and um, this area over here will be a forested area because and now uh, zoo. Zoo is uh, zoo lessons with even. Um, the one thing you want to avoid when uh, building exhibits is having viewing areas or having exhibits where you're looking directly into the sun mm -hmm. um, because that's annoying and it's not fun. So this will be this is this is going to be the way to get back up because if we're going down here, we'll, we'll need to go back up here. So we'll need to find a way to avoid that. And one way it could have been to like make a snaking path so that every time you're looking down again. Um, but I didn't want to do that. So I'm going to go for a forest area over here yeah. so that the sun is mostly blocked. By a big it. advantage of uh, having a nice forested area over here, maybe also on the other side of the um, savanna, is that it would block winds from 
blowing over the savannah and just creating dust storms and making the animals kind of suffer. <laughs> that as well. I didn't think about that. See, see yeah. that's why I'm happy that you're here. <laughs> because because I need you for these things. So yeah, I got, got a bunch of things planned uh, and still lots and lots of work to do. Yeah, but... And the tower, is that part of the zoo? or is that? Just... Uh, yeah, so the idea is that this was originally Hallett Park. Um, and that a zoo was built around it, and this is still part of the old Hallett Park, which uh, there would be a walkway all the way up to this tower. Nice. W which is based on the Washington Zoo, I believe, um, which has a tower as well, so apparently <laughs> zoos do Jesus have towers. towers are more common than we thought <laughs> <laughs> it's not just a pronation thing um yeah no so so this is um my hope is to make it functional that we can have people standing here and looking all across the zoo i don't think that's gonna happen um but it would be really really cool um so yeah all right awesome let's go down again so yeah that's uh that's it so far um, I know it's maybe not enough to do the first episode. Um, my God, these guys are loud. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> um, but again, I needed to get this out because it's, yeah. it's just it's just time. Um, no, it's totally, it's it's very interesting to um, just, it's going to be very interesting to see how this evolves and see your, your vision come to life. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this is and this is the second reason why I really am really happy that you're here, um, because this is going to be pretty much my key park zoo. <laughs> As in, I'm going to try to be realistic in execution, but not always in premise. I would just want to have a zoo where I can do whatever the hell I want to do. Don't want to think about making. Oh no, this this animal would be animal here. Wouldn't be, yeah. 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 Oh no, I can't have a platypus in this suit. No, I want to have that because it's a good <laughs> animal. So like, it's it's stuff like that. Um, so yeah. I'm still going to try to be as realistic as possible in execution, which means, yes, Wyatt, I've caved. I will make an indoor area for king penguins if I get them. <laughs> um, uh, I guess, I guess there's... Okay, we're ignoring oh. that. <laughs> it happened it perfectly without any problems. Um, so yeah, uh, this has been Hallett Park Zoo. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward to the next episode. Uh, most likely, I will be working on that structure over there um, because I'm, and that structure is going to change without a doubt. Um, but <laughs> I really want to make a nocturnal house part of the old zoo structure um, cool. and hopefully put in animals like the new porcupine um, mm. which I'm really really looking forward to. I don't All think right. I've ever seen them in a nocturnal house. That's interesting. I have. I think Antwerp had them in a nocturnal house because they are nocturnal animals after all. Right. Um, so yeah that was it. That was it. If, you've, <laughs> if you came here because you just saw uh, the St. Reginald's Zoo episode on Goron's channel. Great job, well done. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, go and watch the new episode on just Goron's channel because yes, that's even a thing you it. should do. <laughs> yes, we've totally already recorded that episode. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> uh, all right, thank you all so much for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.